In this video for the SQL Fundamental Series, we're going to look at SELECT FROM WHERE. SELECT CLAUSE, FROM CLAUSE, and A WHERE CLAUSE USED TO FILTER DATA. So you'll need your Oracle account, you'll need access to HR data, the HR schema, and the student teams database that was built in a previous video. In the SELECT FROM WHERE syntax, you have the SELECT clause where you list the columns that you want displayed. Then you add the from clause where you list the table you want to pull the data from. And then finally the where clause where you can add one or more criteria and filter the data based on that. So in this syntax we're going to filter criteria based on a particular column, the content of the data in that column. So let's open an SQL worksheet using or viewing the student team schema and we're going to find out which students are on the systems designers team and the team ID is sysdes. So in our example here we're going to do select specify three columns ID, first name, last name from the students table and filter based on team ID equal to sysdes. So we switch over to SQL developer I have my teams connection and I'm going to simply copy in the command and I have my select from where execute that command and I see that these three people are on that team. Now we'll take a look at which students are on the digital solutions team and that team ID is D-I-G-S-O-L So I can simply switch that to D-I-G-S-O-L and run that command. And what we get is no output. The question is, is this an error in my SQL or is that accurate based on the data? So the point I want to make here is that sometimes no output is the correct output. You can verify it yourself by looking at some other type of SQL command that will give you data. In this case I'm going to list the team IDs or list all the data from the student table and we'll see that there is no, uh, there are no students in DigSol. So I'm going to run this command and I can scroll down and look at the data and I don't see any team members in DigSol. So my output is correct. It seems to throw students sometimes when they get no output. They think that their command is incorrect and that's not always the case. So now let's filter students by major. Which students are not majoring in information systems? And so we're going to run a, a statement here that says select student ID, first name, last name from students where student major does not equal ISIS. So I've copied in the syntax, the SQL command, and now I'll run the command and we see a list of three people who do not have a major designated as information systems. So we can do a cross check on this and it's always a good idea to do that. We know if you go back and look at previous commands that we have 15 students, three of which are shown as non-majors in information systems. They're not majoring in information systems. So if we do a count of the students who are majoring in information systems, we ought to come up with 12. So let's try that. Select count, asterisk, in parentheses, from students where student major equals ISIS. And we will run that and we'll see that 12. And that's for a total of 15 students. So now let's take a look at the HR database and let's see how many employees are IT programmers where the job ID is IT underscore PROG. So let's go to SQL developer and we'll 
run that command. It's counting from employees, hr.employees, where job underscore ID equals, let me point out, I'm doing IT underscore prog in caps because that is how the data is stored. We'll look at how to deal with uh, variations in upper and lower case later on. So I'm going to run this command, and I see that there are five people listed as IT programmers. Let's also do, uh, let's look at employees who are financial accountants. And so let's try this command. I'm doing select. This time I'll show the actual employee data by listing the column names from hr.employees. And I'm filtering on job ID equal to fi underscore account all in uppercase. And these are the results that I get. So in this video we've looked at adding the where clause to the select from. The where is used to filter output. It is possible that no output is the correct output and there are ways usually that you can create uh, kind of counter check queries that will check to see that the output that you get is correct. And we've also combined the count asterisk function with the where clause filter.